The second metric that we're looking at here is called the information ratio. The information ratio is slightly more complicated than other performance metrics, yet it provides a greater understanding of the portfolio manager's security picking abilities. In contrast to passive investment management, active management requires successful, specific security picking to outperform the benchmark. While the manager may only invest in the S&P 500 companies, he may attempt to take advantage of temporary security mispricing opportunities within that group. The return above the benchmark is referred to as the active return, which serves as the numerator in this formula. In contrast to other less useful ratios, the information ratio uses the standard deviation of active returns as a measure of risk instead of the standard deviation of the portfolio. If the portfolio manager attempts to outperform the market or their benchmark, she or he will sometimes exceed that performance and at other times fall short. The portfolio deviation from the benchmark is the risk metric used to standardize the active return. The higher the information ratio, the better the manager, given the higher active return on the portfolio for the amount of risk taken relative to the benchmark. However, the information ratio can be less than zero if the portfolio is levered. So even though alpha is being produced, the IR is negative. 